Hi, so uh, I think we've all gotten to Joomla one time or another, and we've seen this uh, <clears throat> this um, update available message. So we see this update now. And a lot of times, um, because the way the server is set up or some for some other reason, the, the in, when we click that button, the, uh, the automatic installer from Joomla, you know, just doesn't, doesn't function. It can be because of PHP settings or directory permissions or um, a number of other things. And so basically I think it's just easier to update via the command line. So here we are on the left here. I've connected the server via SSH and we're in the, uh, the home directory, you know, the, the root directory of the Joomla installation. So I list this here, there we have it. Um, to do this, uh, to do this earlier, I downloaded this file, which we don't need anymore. Just get rid of that there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to Joomla Downloads, and we just find the correct upgrade package. So what I like to do is just get, the, get kind of a big upgrade package. So in this case, we wanna to go to 383 upgrade package, and notice that it's packaged for everything from 2.5 all the way up to the 3X releases, and then it puts it up to 383, okay? Um, and we wanna use the tar.bz2, just if you're gonna to totally follow along in this video, just do the tar.bz2 uh, version. So we're gonna go ahead on the download now, we're just gonna right click on it and do copy link location, and then we're gonna go ahead and do wget to download it to our server. Okay, there we have it. So, so it's gone ahead and download, and notice that we get the download, the name here. Um, you know, Linux will, uh, will download it with that um, question mark. So if we didn't take that, you know, so you might get something like this. So copy link location. If we did wget, and notice that if we just paste it, you'll get this question mark format right here, and then you have to rename it later on. So notice that this, this actually put that question mark you know the query string of the um, of the web page there, so you can just you can just delete that initially, and just get this bz2. If that made no sense to you. Don't worry. Uh, just go ahead and do what I'm going to do next. So now we, once we've downloaded the package here, all we're going to do is untar it. So untar with j or x j v f. Okay, so base, basically means we're just going to untar it in place or un you know uncompress it in place. Okay, and so then we just paste the file name. Notice we copied and pasted the file name and hit enter. Oop, and you know what I forgot to do? It's better just to sudo this, so sudo, and then the same command, tar xjvf. There we go. Okay, that's all written out. Uh, and then we can go ahead, uh, so basically what's gonna happen is those files are gonna be, um, are gonna have, uh, They'll be owned by root now that you did the sudo and the, um, and the uh, other commands. So what you have to do is you have to go in and chown everything back to uh, back to um, www-data user and group. Um, but you should already know how to do that, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I can just show you quickly. So if you know how to do that, you can end the video there. But if you want to, you can continue on with me here. So, so basically the other thing we can do is we can go ch own and then www-data and then um, www-data is the group. And then we want to recursively own uh, var HTML. Oops, and I always forget the sudo, sudo. All right, there we go. Okay, so there we have it. So now everything's owned back to www-data. Okay, now we can go back and let's take a look here. So let's check for updates. And you already have the latest version. So there we go. Uh, okay, so I hope that helps. Um, I find it a much, much easier route than trying to like, you know, mess around with the PHP version of it. So uh, best of luck.